Here's my furry feline friend once again. Oftentimes, this creature, for reasons unknown to me, will take its nose and rub it against my cheek or skull. Why it's doing this, I do not know. Maybe it's because I'm petting it, or maybe because it's trying to step its territory. Either way, perhaps in a way it's trying to bring some sort of comfort or just a sign of, hey, creature, I own, I like you. Either way, it can be similar to a source of comfort that humans give each other. Be it kisses or hugs, or just simply being there close to them, just like this cat. Somewhere, maybe in James, it says that we ought to comfort others with the comfort God has given us. For the Christian, there is so much comfort in being in Christ. Where do you even begin? Your sins are gone. You have everlasting life. You have a relationship with the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is inside you, and he will abide with you forever. You're never alone. You have God to supply your needs when you're seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness, which is, I think, to be like him. You have the hope that no death or sickness or disease or illness or anything in this life will separate you from God. Not only this, but for all your fellow Christians who truly have been born again through faith in Christ and Christ alone for salvation, that has been evidence of repentance of sins. You've been truly changed and born again. If that is you and any of your friends and family, you know that you're going to be with that person everlastingly throughout, the, throughout all the ages that come, thousands upon thousands of years. There's so much comfort. There's no reason to fear. We can have a peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In accordance with Philippians 4, 8 or so, there are so, so much comfort. But one of the biggest things is you have a relationship with God. You know Him. And He knows you. If you are His child. Not just simply, yeah, I know Bob Jones down the street, but no, I know Him deeply and intimately. So whatever storms you're facing, take comfort in the promises of the Bible. And if nobody else is facing a storm, go and comfort them. Be it words or simply giving them cat-like kisses or hugs. Whatever it is, go and comfort someone as God has comforted you. Stay holy, my friends, as the journey continues.